हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर थर्ड वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक एसिड एंड बेस रेडिकल्स तो इन माय टू प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक रेडिकल्स देयर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट बेसिक रेडिकल्स इन डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स एंड देयर ग्रुप रिएजेंट्स आई हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस द ट्रिक टू मेमोराइज बेसिक रेडिकल्स इन डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स एंड देयर ग्रुप रिएजेंट्स Apart from that, I have discussed all the basic concepts which are necessary to know before doing this acid and basic radical. And here in this video, I am going to discuss about the acidic radicals, categorization of these acid radicals, and how we are going to perform the wet test for these acid radicals, and why we are preparing the water extract or sodium carbonate extract for performing this acid radical test. in the laboratory and why we are preparing this sodium carbonate extract so what is the use of preparing this sodium carbonate extract for this acid radicals so let's start with the video and first we are going to discuss the categorization of acid radicals here these acid radicals are categorized in three different groups group 1 group 2 and group 3 and these group are decided based on their group reagent so, so for first group the group reagent is dilute hcl or dilute h2so4 generally we use to prefer dilute h2so4 for this group 1 and for group 2 we are having concentrated h2so4 and for group 3 there is no such group reagent is defined on the basis of their group reagents these acid radicals are also known as weak acid radicals strong acid radicals and general acid radicals how you are going to memorize which is weak strong and general so here we are having dilute from there you can memorize this weak acid radical and here we are using concentrated acid so you can connect it with the strong word and since there is no group reagent so we can say them as general acid radicals now we are seeing here different acid radicals in different groups so in the group 1 there are carbonate sulfide sulfite nitrite and acetate in the group 2 we are having halogens nitrate and oxalate in the group 3 we are having sulfate and phosphate so how you are going to memorize these acid radical first you memorize the general acid since there are only two are reported here but in some textbooks borate radical is also grouped into this group 3 or general acid radicals so sulfate phosphate and borate and for second group we are having halogens nitrate and oxalate in the group 1 we are having carbonate sulfide sulfite nitrite and acetate among these carbonate and acetate are the very common acid radicals so this is how you can categorize so first sulfate phosphate borate halogens nitrate oxalate and now rest of the acid radicals are placed in the group 1 here i have highlighted these three acid radicals with this red so what is the reason behind this because these are the interfering radicals chloride oxalate phosphate and borate are the interfering radical so how you are going to memorize these interfering radicals so i have write one sentence here and it is very relevant and from the first letter you can memorize these interfering radical so first become part of interfering radical so you just memorize this sentence no other acid radical is there which starts with these alphabets so first become part of interfering radical so f4 chloride b4 borate c4 phosphate o4 oxalate these are the interfering radical so this is how you can memorize the interfering radical right now i am showing you here how we are going to perform the wet test for acid radicals in the laboratory so before proceeding for the wet test in the laboratory for these acid radical we have to prepare first either the water extract or sodium carbonate extract for performing these wet test of acid radical so what is called water extract and what is called sodium carbonate extract so water extract first we are going to discuss that so here we are having salt plus 
distilled water and if we get a clear solution then that is termed as water extract if it is not clear then we have to heat it and we get a clear solution and that is known as water extract here it is important to know water extract is simple salt plus water and sodium carbonate extract is take one part of salt plus three parts of sodium carbonate and fill the test tube up to three fourths of its capacity with the deionized water or distilled water and heat it for 5-10 minutes and uh, after cooling filter it and the filtrate is known as sodium carbonate extract this filtrate is having now sodium salt of all the acid radicals and all the metal salts which are associated previously with these acid radicals they form their carbonates which are generally insoluble and they removed from this sodium carbonate as the residue filtrate is having sodium salts of acid radicals and these sodium salts are water soluble so that is why we prepare this sodium carbonate extract for the test of acid radicals and water extract and sodium carbonate extract is used for the wet test of acid radicals whereas for basic radicals we are using original solution so what is called original solution that we are going to discuss in basic radicals only now i am showing you how to prepare the sodium carbonate extract and why it is important to prepare sodium carbonate extract that i am going to discuss here in this lab activity now we are preparing the sodium carbonate extracts i have taken one part of salt and to this i am adding three parts of sodium carbonate and we are filling this test tube up to three four and heating it so after 5-10 minutes it boils after cooling we are going to filter it Here we are having the residue and this residue we can use for the test of basic radicals. Here we are having the filtrate and this filtrate is used for test of acidic radicals. And why we are using this? So here I am showing you the experiment. I have taken the lead nitrate and if I am adding the group reagent dilute sulfuric acid, it gives the precipitate of lead sulfate and therefore we cannot perform acid radical test limitation this sodium carbonate extract is not suitable for carbonate test because it itself give carbonate test so guys i hope you find this video helpful and you enjoyed the lab activity that helps you to understand about the acid radicals so thanks for watching if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you all.